So I want you to tell us about sleep as it affects the whole marital experience, right? Because the great couch is about, you know, relationships. Why do couples, we as couples and parents need better sleep, right? And I'm thinking, you know, you said you're an entrepreneur and, you know, both of us are sometimes in some of the same mastermind. So my question is, even as entrepreneurs, people who are at the beginning stages, how should we think about sleep, right? And not letting that be the thing that we kind of push to the side. So many questions, but take it from why do we need more sleep? And for people who are thinking about, you know, doing other things, because like this stage of life is when you want to go, 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 go right why should we not let sleep be the first thing to um let go of yeah no that's a great question uh, and i think it really starts with understanding what sleep does and one of the things we talk about is that you know sleep is not just a cure for sleepiness meaning i'm sleepy therefore i sleep that's it it's when you sleep that so many functions in our bodies um restore repair and recalibrate for the next day and so the impact of sleep starts from our just from the top from the brain all the way down if we think about the way the brain is built there's actually now cleansing systems that we know are available that are present in the brain that helps remove toxins and deposits that have been deposited on the surface of the brain over the over the you know the period of time you've been awake yeah and one of these products is called beta amyloid it's actually something that we found has been is responsible for alzheimer's mm. so just that process in and of itself is so critical um and beyond that it impacts our mental health um in a very big in a very big way so better sleep improves our mood it's in during sleep that are, we get emotion regulation we have unpleasant um, experiences sort of repaired and then you know you have more pleasant um, experiences kind of consolidated memory creativity all that occurs during sleep and then of course our physical health there's higher risk of heart attacks strokes hypertension um, impaired metabolism so you know higher risk of diabetes obesity um, hormonal fluctuations when it comes to um, decision making, which will affect our relationships, like he said, we don't. I don't make any big, I, you, you know. I, that's just it. Like, I don't make any major life altering decisions when I'm tired. Mm -hmm. But if I, even if I hear something, I can process it when I'm sleeping, and I can come up with a better solution. And they've, they've done this. They've done research to look at this as well. So think of how that impacts. The way we talk to each other, if he's, if I said something from a place of tiredness and his perception of it is wrong. And in the morning, I'm like, I would never have said that mm -hmm. if I was in the right frame of mind. So that's a big way by which sleep impacts um, just even our communication, mm -hmm. our decision making, maybe decisions. We're about to make big decisions, right? We're thinking through it, but we're both exhausted. How are we going to make high quality decisions? We want to make sure we're doing it from a place of rest okay. um, in terms of even empathy so studies have shown that um a sleep deprived person has lacks self-empathy and empathy for others and they've looked at that also in research so how do i empathize with my partner or with my children if if i'm not well rested right mm -hmm. um and even just parenting so increased risk increased irritability moodiness you know we're like that two-year-old in the grocery store when we've not slept because he wants a giant lollipop right before lunch and his mom says no and he's throwing the tantrum that's exactly how we are inside <laughs> when we don't sleep well so think of how this impacts not just our spouse our kids right i mean it's like you finish washing them down and yelling at them and it's like a bloodbath in the living room when all you needed to do was take That's some rest as a parent yeah. right yeah um and then you know in terms of entrepreneurship mm -hmm. productivity um and they've looked at this also where they've looked at economic the economic impact of sleep loss in large nations i think us japan uk a few other countries billions of dollars lost annually because of insufficient sleep and what they did was more like a projection right because you're more likely to call in sick mm -hmm. you're more likely to be sick and end up in the hospital so they extrapolated all those costs right days absence at work what you should have been able to do now your your co-worker has to take it on um and then even as an entrepreneur right you're juggling so many things or as a career person right you're making decisions you're leading teams um all those things are affected by sleep they've looked at 
leaders in organizations. So it's not just about you as an individual that sleep deprived and the person that did this study more or less sleep deprived leaders are more likely to be jerks <laughs> because they show up at work with the negative energy that impacts all the team members. And so those team members then, first of all, have, you know, may experience lower self-worth, right? Their own productivity, because the, the leader didn't sleep well, their own productivity declines. And overall, they just don't feel as well supported. So I could go on and on. Um, so I hope you can see that, yeah, sleep is pretty important. <laughs> I know. Just, you know, as an aside here, my student and mommy always resting. I said, if I was not resting, <laughs> you will not get the good side of me. So you better be thanking Jesus that I'm resting all the time. Yeah. I tell them, I say, my battery is going down. Like I, 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 we just yeah. thought in terms of battery, I'm like, my battery is going down. Once it's down, my patient's meter, right? So we have this mm -hmm. good word. They're like, mommy, you always rest. I'm like, huh. Just trust me, this rest is good for you. <laughs> Important. <laughs> yeah. You know, I have, to, I have to confess though, this happened to me this morning. I think I got like maybe four hours sleep, mm -hmm. you know, and I mean, I was like so upset at the boys, you know, like, get ready. And then, you know, I'm like, ah, in my own mind, this is not how I planned this morning to go, <laughs> you know, but just, uh, I didn't, ah, what's going on? I do this, that, this, this, this. So I, this has been so informative for me to mm -hmm. just try and mm -hmm. slow down. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, what about people that they want, they really, and that might be your next question, mm -hmm. but they want this, they want to get to sleep, but they are so worried, so stressed. You lie in bed, tossing and turning, mm -hmm. and you can't sleep. So exactly, I guess, good techniques for, for better it's sleep. Really hygiene. Hygiene. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay very very good question and that's true i think to start off is you want to build healthy sleep habits so you start off on the right foundation i use an acronym i share it all the time it's science backed it's you know evidence-based it's practical it's easy to remember and it's create healthy sleep habits so c-r-e-a-t-e -E. Yeah. so c stands for consistency so it's not just about you going to bed at random times whenever you finally get a chance to. And that's why the mindset piece, which is why I spend so much time talking about why sleep is important. Because when you just treat sleep like it's something that's dispensable, you're not going to be consistent. And there's something that wires us internally. It's our circadian rhythm. So that's our internal clock. And it controls so many other parts of our you know our physiologic processes so when you have a consistent time when you go to bed a consistent make it like an appointment you don't miss a consistent time when you wake up you lock that in and you're sort of re-anchoring that internal clock so that it's not shifting all over then the next thing is r which stands for routine so you want to have a few things that calm you down especially when you said tossing and turning sometimes it's because you've been running all day non-stop and then you just jump into bed with the same speed if you think about a plane that is about to land it doesn't just go from <laughs> several hundred miles and just lands right you sort of you know you'd slowly make your way down so you have to literally make your way down especially for us who are busy who are you know high achievers, professionals, we've been on the very, we've been functioning at a very high level. You've been putting out fires. You can't just, you've not, not necessarily given yourself a moment to be and to process. So you need that routine to buffer you. It's kind of like your buffer zone. Mm -hmm. And these should be things that fill your cup. Don't force it. Don't try to copy anybody else, whether it's having a bath, reading a book, doing some prayer, some journaling, Mm -hmm. spending time talking to the kids whatever and if, if spending time talking to the kids aggravates you hopefully not <laughs> <laughs> you know battling and trying to finish up their homework you know so maybe move that earlier so that you have those true buffer zone with pleasurable activities right having some good hot sex <laughs> is also you know that's good um and then um e stands for uh, the environment so you want an environment that's cool yeah. Mm -hmm. that is relaxing, that is dark and is noise free. So if you have a spouse that snores, number one, they might have sleep apnea and they should get checked out. And number two, they're disrupting your sleep. So you may need to get earplugs. You may need to get a noise machine or something. Um, and then A stands for, don't, don't <laughs> you, need get, you need a sleep study. I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> A stands for assign the bed for sleep. 
yeah. and intimacy and sleep only in bed so don't use the bed for your you know to look on your phone to use do computer work to worry to argue to talk finances mm -mm. your bed is supposed to be for sleep so that your brain makes the right healthy association and then t stands for technology right technology the phones the tv the video games for our kids, the, um, you know, the computers, the laptops, all that, mm -hmm. uh, because it, it, number one, it displaces sleep time. Right. And then number two, the blue light, the bright light really suppresses, um, the sleep hormone that helps us to feel sleepy. It's called melatonin. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing is E you got to look and just do a check of what are things that I need to eliminate? Mm. Is it caffeine? A lot of times people are tired and they're just on the caffeinated all day every day so caffeine is not just um coffee it's in you know tea your nice tea you gotta be careful it's in iced tea which a lot of people have with dinner sodas some chocolates all that yeah. stuff so you gotta check that to make sure that that's not interrupting your sleep so if you follow those i would say that's the best place to start a yeah. lot of times it is stress that's keeping people tossing and turning yeah. and so managing stress as well finding where are those areas that i'm just going i've not really been able to practice being present with me to really talk through and feel what i'm feeling so that i can deal with them mm -hmm. seeking help if you need to um professional help for anxiety and things like that so um those are some things i would say you could at least focus on which is kind of low-hanging fruit and then you could build from there yeah well, everybody in this house is a sleep expert now <laughs> <laughs> i know I was going to say because I don't remember what we were talking about. And I said something about 10 p.m. I was like, 10 p.m. That everybody in the house is asleep. I say, yeah, we need redemption. <laughs> we need yeah. redemption because I used to be an early sleeper, but I guess this is one way that you know someone has influenced. And I'm like, no, I don't like it because I like sleep. Like I like sleep. And on that note, right, when you're talking about the activities and the things to calm you. So this, um, Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> I'm about to. Okay, I'm I'm, on me. I'm about to ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this bastardly <laughs> likes, you know, to have a shower and all that, you know, and I used to join it, but I'm like, in this shower, you will not be doing anyhow. Then I will not be the one that will be awake. Please, you can't be showering. I'll do my shower. In the <laughs> 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 because he can just step out of there and just like, you know but after I, after you've done things and then i'm like oh i'm awake i'm like no this shower is not working right so <laughs> i'm not going to discuss what those things are that's for another <laughs> <laughs> so yeah 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 so, wow. wow that wow, was this is huge amazing man thanks so much mm -hmm. uh guys that is just a bucket load of stuff <laughs> actionable items yeah. that you can yeah. start today yeah. after watching this video yep. all right so here's where we turn the mic over to you guys mm -hmm. and we now ask we've been asking all the questions mm -hmm. up until now mm -hmm. and now we're like okay what questions do you have for us on the great couch i always say be merciful but it never really helps you know so <laughs> throw, throw your questions at us yeah yeah so i think maybe one question i could ask is Along the lines of some of the things we, you asked us, mm -hmm. how have you worked? I mean, the gray couch has been on now for at least, I think, up to a year, I would say. Two years. Yes. Mm -hmm. Two years. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you also, you're very uh, illustrious. Um, you're both, you know, doing so many things. Mm -hmm. How do you balance that with the home front? What would you say? Um have been some practical ways that you've been able to strike that, you know, balance with doing the lot of the work you do, which is very outward facing mm -hmm. with also still, you know, being employed with business, mm -hmm. different businesses, mm -hmm. kids, all that. How, how do you keep that? Um, how do you keep things in sync? Okay. I'll let you go first. Okay. No. So I think it's the flexibility, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like we're not yet at the stage where we say come into a studio, meet us at this time. So when we ask couples to come, we kind of, you know, just we work with them to find a time. You've ha we've had couples from Nigeria, so we've had to wake up sometimes at six thirty, right? It's kind of you, you're doing it for, as you say, the love of the culture. I think it's the passion right now that is driving us. We're so passionate about this work. We we really want to hear, you know, from couples because I think that many times. 
you know how all you're hearing sometimes about marriage is from you know the marriage ministers the pastors the this so our vision was to have just you know regular couples like you and i come and have um this conversation so people can hear right from i don't want to say regular folks but you know what i mean like people who are going about their daily jobs right in that sense i don't have this as a separate thing that they're doing and that's all they're doing in ministry and all of that so for us it was you know marketplace right what you call marketplace Mm -hmm. uh ministry so that and i think the boys you know they're kind of in this youtube generation right in that sense so they understand that this is something we have to do like right now they're somewhere but they're quiet because we said well we're having you know guests on so you just have to give us you know some time and all of that so it wasn't easy at the beginning i can't tell everyone we had to cut things because they would just come and say (laughs) 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 like like, that's not even paying us any mind but after you know a lot of redirection they they get it now you know um so that's what i would say and then the kind of work that i do is you know a little bit more flexible right than the um average job which i'm really thankful for so it offers me the freedom right i would say to be able to do these things and i i actually really think if it wasn't the gray couch you'd be something else right in that sense because i just have this gift of creative like you said like when you said you had so many ideas i'm like oh that's my sister <laughs> <laughs> so many things you want to put out into the world but you're taking it you know um one step at a time uh so yeah. my take on mm-hmm. it though would be like she said it's still fun right now mm-hmm. but these things are they're like everyday conversations so there are times when we'll be talking in the room and we're like oh that should be a good thing on the great couch <laughs> and you just screw it away somewhere yeah. you know but then there's also the period of being intentional to say mm-hmm. okay based on your schedule we have a pocket of window here we can really do this this, you know and you know she's always reading marriage material going to certificate so you're seeing all these things in everyday life so one part she didn't mention though is there's this part where you pull back so we have a tradition that we do on sunday mornings that might have to pivot now but whereby we actually read to each other and it's most of the time a marriage book Mm -hmm. So with that, like, hmm, I don't agree with this. Okay, we'll shelve this for talking about mm-hmm. this. Uh, let's talk about this. Uh, okay, you're not ready to bring this to the couch. <laughs> you're not ready to do that. So it's it's like everyday life. Yeah. So it's it's um, it's not yet too busy mm-hmm. whereby and there's not this pressure to produce. Mm-hmm. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's still fun. But mm-hmm. there's this intentionality where that this is real life and and though I don't know which one, one pastor was saying how if all the examples you are given are from 20 years ago and things like that then hey you need to you need to have a more exciting life so like okay in the everyday mm-hmm. what, what are, are the things, things you know that, that are coming that back you know yeah. and I have yeah. to give her because she's helped me to I don't like being in front of camera as as you said but she's telling me that okay listen it, it's not about you yeah just this is a conversation mm-hmm. of anyways just mm-hmm. think that there's nobody here yeah. and then there's also good feedback from people saying oh mm-hmm. I, I enjoyed this mm-hmm. I, this was useful this was helpful so you get that mm-hmm. type of feedback saying okay so maybe we are helping some people mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. it encourages you to try and you know mm-hmm. hone in it's on showing your up. yeah yep. showing up yeah so that's, that's awesome yeah. yeah that's amazing yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep and you want a question? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I mean that was that was really it. I mean yeah. it's really um really inspirational to see what you guys are are doing. You've seen a, a couple of the videos and um it really like you said, just having conversations with people and you can learn so much so about much. Yeah. you know so what people other people's experiences yes mm-hmm. and i think so, that then that was one of the things for us because sometimes you go through something and you think you're the only one and i think that's kind of the devil's playbook right to make you think mm-hmm. you're alone and isolation yeah. and that sometimes that's how you know mental like things come into play so for us it was that idea even with parents right like with parenting this was a tip we got they said talk to other parents like mm-hmm. because the journey it looks different but it's the same mm. right you're mm. here to raise a child to raise a child who is you know a good citizen right mm. like you said they all show up they all come to us differently mm. every child is mm. so different their personalities everything so your task is to just you know guide them right along the right paths in that sense the way god does mm-hmm. for us and so having to talk to other people lets you know oh okay it's not just uh me, me right I'm not going in that crazy. sense <laughs> 
really very but yeah as an example there was a time our older kid like you ask him things and he would tell you stories i'm like what's happening you know we don't <laughs> we don't fabricate things in this house but then we talk to like three different pediatricians and they're like this is just the age like hmm. for them it's like whether it's exciting like he was like choose your battles mm. right in that sense mm. like as mm. long as they're not doing anything dangerous you know keep warning them refer them to the word of god about being truthful and all that but that mm. at some point maybe that middle school age is just a thing that they do like they just mm. things you know just to up each other or whatever you know so but because we were so worried it's like what's happening <laughs> worried was worried was one word i would use another word was another word i would use was almost a shin I, i'm a christian person mm. and so you, mm-hmm. you must true. come down hard on the, uh, thinking more but it just the person just goes more i'm going to show so when i heard this i was like really oh this is the mm. thing mm. okay mm. So it's not about you no but yeah. and then keep on modeling mm. keep on modeling yeah mm-hmm. so that was mm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you for adding to the conversational, you know, arsenal now. Like, I feel like we have so many tools and this one was just fantastic. Sleep, heart health, like two things that, mm-hmm. um, you know, we all need, right? Mm-hmm. Even for our, even our children. Like, I feel like sometimes the modeling children get sleep habits sometimes from their parents, right? In that Yes. Sense. Yeah. 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 That's a big one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You yeah. Do. So, thank you very, very much. I, I really appreciate you all coming on the call, especially because when you said, I'm going to ask Inka, I was like, oh, Lord, I hope he agrees. <laughs> and I've never he told you, you I've see. Never seen him. I've never seen Like, I, I know him, but you know, I know he's just there being a very, very strong supporter, but I know he doesn't come out at all, right? So when you said he agreed, I was elated. There we go. This is, this is like huge. <laughs> <laughs> i know you know so yeah i remember telling somebody that you guys were coming I was like are you sure like i know right i'll be like i'm here i'm here on behalf of myself and, Inka. and that could have been it i'll say this yeah. one said i should tell you <laughs> the afolavi brands yeah, doctor her. and doctor uh where where can our viewers find mm-hmm. you if they want to ask you some more follow-up questions mm-hmm. some more tidbits you've been so it's been so informative on, on both sides, you know, both for the men, heart health, and, and all of us with sleep. Where where can our viewers find you um, if they wanted to reach out? Well, thank you so much for having us. So a, a an easy place to find me would be on my website. Yeah. I run a company called Restful Sleep MD, which really, I mean, the mission is about empowering families, especially women and children to really sleep well so we go a deep dive into a lot of the things we talked about and i also have a practice it's the restful sleep place where i'm licensed to see children and young adults with sleep disorders Mm -hmm. in pennsylvania in new jersey as well as california we offer both telemedicine visits and in-person visits so anywhere from snoring to difficulty sleeping tossing and turning restless sleep and excessive daytime sleepiness and everything in between so you can find all that information on my website so that's the um that's restfulsleepmd.com that's restfulsleepmd.com um i'm also on social media so i'm on um, instagram at restfulsleepmd as well as facebook and i am on linkedin as funke apalabi brown okay fantastic so i see that that third fellowship is doing its thing right the sleep fellowship it, so nothing wasted love nothing me. wasted yes i mean that's really been my mission i've really yeah. sort of honed down to that now yeah i love it i am not as easy to find <laughs> it's okay once we get to her we'll get to you so yeah. exactly exactly you can reach me through restful sleep <laughs> Yeah, that is the truth right there. Get her I try to tag him and compliment him on social media. And I'm like, he's not here, but anybody that has his number, I can text him. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am on LinkedIn, though. Oh, good. Yes, yes, he is on LinkedIn. That's uh, Dr. LinkedIn. Ninka for Labby Brown, right? On yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. They will be back. <laughs> they will be back, but from our pouches to Mm -hmm. you and your family um thanks and we'll see you guys